sorting tools for their search results, one of which is sifting results by time. This can be great for timely topics, for example, students searching for information on earthquakes. They could get general information about earthquakes, or they could look for most recent or in a certain time frame. This could also work for current event topics like Egypt. So here's earthquake, and on the left-hand side, note the times that you can sort things by. So if I want to see in the past 24 hours what's happened with earthquakes, here's information that was posted. I could also look up Egypt, and I could see in the past 24 hours in Egypt, or the latest in Egypt. Or maybe I want to get an overview of the past year. Another great way to see a topic over time is to use the timeline view. This changes the results to be organized by chronological date. So here's Egypt over time. They even have articles from 3100 BC. Amazing. And you can drill into any given time period by clicking on the graph. And you can drill in further, or you can click on a given year down here, 1798. And then you can see it by month. And you can just see the, the May events, let's say, in 1798. So this really helps see a historical topic over time, and you can drill in and see more detail. A powerful tool for diving into historical detail of a topic. So encourage students to explore the many different views within Google search results to hone in on the information they need to find.